Hello Pantsers! On this channel, the hair length has sort of become a way to determine how long you've been gone, so... Yep, say goodbye to the hair because it's gonna be chopped off. Interjection from the future! I did cut my hair off. Back to the past! So in this video, I'll be trying to catch up with you guys on what's been going on in my life, and it hasn't been that much actually. First off, let me talk about collabception. Yes, the collabception did happen. Um, it happened two months ago. It was awesome. However, Phoebe and I did not plan in advance about filming. So we left it to the last minute, naturally, as you do. But because the wind was really quite loud, I think the video, just the audio quality of the video is really bad and that's why Phoebe did not upload it. So yeah, I think this is a very curious situation because it seems to me that it's the first time that there is a collapseption but there's no video proof of it. So, <laughs> great job. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're disappointed. Um, for your comfort, I can give you this little snippet of a video right here. And that's all I have. I'm sorry. Second thing, are you done with the reading of Emma? Or if not, where are you? And who is still reading? I finished reading the book about three weeks ago and I love it so much more than the vlog series. Interestingly, most readers tend to regard Emma as an annoying character that like the way it is written just screams the need of moral growth and maturity. Um, I did not perceive Emma that way from the beginning. Um, for me, she was a very lovable, very likable character. Um, she was very endearing and although she does grow more mature during the course of the book, I found her more of a steady character than most readers do. Speaking of likability, I'm quite glad about the way they did Maddie Bates in the vlog series because she is, again, quite endearing in the series, but in the book, I hated that character. I literally was growing angry every time she spoke. And Kate, I do agree that the personality of Jane in the series is very much different from the novel, but it seems to me that it, it might be something that will be fleshed out more um, later on in the series. And the bit with the haircut, I loved it too for a moment there. I thought they were gonna send him to London to get his haircut, but I realized that would be much more extreme. Other things in my life, I finally got my driver's license. The whole process was awful and I'm glad it's over, but Oliver, I wish you luck on yours. So another big thing that I wanna to talk about in this video is booktubeathon. Basically, it's a week-long readathon that happens on YouTube, but you don't have to be a booktuber or make videos in order to participate. It's in July and the exact dates of the booktubeathon will be right here, but um, I'm going to attempt it and I would keep you posted on how I'm doing in the booktubeathon uh, in my videos, but if that's something that you would want to participate in, that would be really lovely to have a reading buddy for the readathon. The rules are easy. Basically, you just try to read more than you would normally read. However, um, there are a couple of challenges that you might want to attempt if you so choose. The first challenge is to read an average of 300 pages a day, which is 2100 pages um, in the course of the week. So it's a challenge that I probably won't be attempting. I'm a slow reader. The second challenge is to complete a series or a trilogy. Third challenge is to read a book that's over 500 pages. Fourth is to reread a book. Fifth is to read a classic. Sixth is to listen to an audiobook. And seventh is to read a book that's been on your shelf forever. So let me know if the booktubeathon is something you would like to participate um, in and do it along with me. I love personally readathons in general because they're such an excellent way to just knock out some of the books that have been sitting on your shelf forever or just to get you out of a reading slump if you have been in one. Um, and I just love the entire atmosphere around it. My little final comment is I was kind of thinking of maybe getting back to themed weeks for a little bit because it's something that usually gets people to make videos. 
I'm never making videos. I don't know why I'm ta why I am talking about getting other people to make videos. I was thinking of TV shows, because Kate mentioned once that she was going on Tumblr to see what other people are watching, and we've never done this. We've done TV shows from childhood, I think. So it might be interesting. If you're up for that, then next week's theme could be TV shows. So I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. Bye.